Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the public beta of iOS 16 and the re-release the version 2 of iOS 16 dev beta 3. Now these two releases are actually quite a good surprise. We have been waiting for iOS 16 public beta to be released this week, but not with these new features and changes. Actually, there are quite a lot of new features and changes with this update as we were expecting this to be the same exact update as beta 3, but it's not. So in this video, we're going to take a look at these betas and see more than 10 new features and changes that actually make these updates really awesome. Let's first take a moment to thank NordPass, the sponsor for today's video. Nowadays, we use passwords everywhere and the risk of forgetting them or have them leaked is real. Well, the solution is simple, NordPass. Have your password secured and never have to remember a passcode again. And right now you can get exclusive access to NordPass by simply going to nordpass.com slash iReviews or use the coupon iReviews at checkout for an additional free month. With NordPass, you can easily add your passcodes with an easy to use interface that enables you to have all your passcodes secured in one place and use the autofill to quickly log in anywhere with NordPass without having to ever again type your passcode. You can save more than passcodes. With NordPass, you can store your notes, credit card, or your personal info. And NordPass also offers you very useful tools like the data breach scanner, which will tell you whether your passwords have been leaked or not. And of course, the passcode generator, which will help you generate very secure passwords for your accounts. Go ahead and give it a try by checking the link in the description or use the code iReviews at checkout for an additional month for free. There are a lot of new features and changes on the lock screen of iOS 16 with the public beta and the second version of beta 3. So right here, if we go to the lock screen, you can see now we have the new album cover right here and you can see how cool that looks. Now, what's really amazing is that it will also change the background of the of the lock screen right here. So of course it will have these colors that are basically the same as the ones on the album art and you can see how cool that looks. It's really, really great. Another feature that Apple has added to the lock screen is the ability to actually change the views here. So if you don't wanna get this big album art on the lock screen of your device, all you have to do is tap on it and it will minimize like this. Anytime you wanna get it back, you tap here. So you can see how easy that is. You can get your wallpaper or you can get the big album art. Now, the one thing is that if you tap on the album art here, it used to take you to the app where it's playing music. Now it doesn't do that. Now what you have to do now is tap on the title right there if you want to go back to the music app. Now Apple has done a lot of adjustments on the new lock screen on iOS 16. And with the, the public beta and the second version of beta 3, we have some pretty cool new features. Like you can see right here, we have this wallpaper. And of course we have that depth effect right there. So this is the object right here. You can see the background right there won't light up when you wake up the screen of your iPhone. It will, it will first light up right here, the subject of the photo, and then that. You can see that really cool effect. So you can see this part right here will light up first, and then that one second, which makes it look really, really cool. Another change on the lock screen of your iOS 16 device, when you go to edit to customize one of your lock screens, whenever you select one of the elements, you can see now the border, the line right there has like a flashing effect. So you can notice that whenever I select one of the elements, it will just like flash around that element, of course, indicating that that is selected and you're editing that certain element. Now, another adjustment that Apple has done with the lock screen on the second version of beta three, and of course the public beta, is that right here you can see the clock right, of course, behind the subject of the photo, but that part right there of the subject is more transparent. I know it's really hard to see it from the camera here on this photo, but if you have one of these, you can notice there that the clock kind of, you can see the clock kind of behind the subject right there. So this part of the subject will be way more transparent than it used to be before. 
New to iOS 16 beta 3 and of course the public beta is the ability to report messages. I didn't get this myself, I've tried it on a few messages, I didn't get this to show up, probably will need messages from like unknown numbers or things like that to be able to get this feature but I found it on reddit someone has reported about this so you can actually now report junk to Apple or to your carrier so you can see right here it says report junk don't report you can report this conversation as junk by sending it to apple and t-mobile from your phone number so you can actually send this report either to apple or to your carrier now another change that apple has done with ios 16 public beta and the second version of beta 3 which by any means is not good but it is here is that they have actually removed from Siri, the ability to hang up calls with Siri. Now that setting used to be here. It has been removed. First of all, I thought they have moved it somewhere else. I try to find it, it's nowhere to be found. So the ability to actually hang up calls with Siri has now been removed. Another report coming from iOS beta on Reddit is that now if you have a device with a 20 megahertz screen, basically the iPhone 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max, when on low power mode, you will now have more animations, such as unlocking your device or just moving in and out of the apps, going to app switcher or just closing or opening your control center. You know that these animations will actually be reduced a lot when you have low power mode turned on on your device. You can see it all right there, but now you will have way more of these animations even though your device might be in low power mode, of course, if you have one of the newer devices. Another change with the public beta of iOS 16 is dictation. Now, dictation seems to be improved a lot with iOS 16 public beta and the, th the second version of beta 3 on iOS 16. A lot of people have been reporting this. I tried to test it myself. It looks kind of better than it was before. Way more accurate, of course, and this seems to be really, really good. Of course, iOS 16 currently is moving on the right direction and Apple is actually making the software update really, really good. Now, one of the main issues that I had with iOS 16 with beta 1 beta 2 and a bit with beta 3 but it seems to have been fixed now with the public beta of course it should and with the second version of beta 3 is the heating issues especially when you go to your lock screen and you try to customize one of your lock screens if you had iOS 16 on your device from the beginning from beta 1 you know that if you just stay on this screen here customizing your lock screen for a couple of minutes your device will get really really hot and that's really annoying but now it seems to have been fixed with the public beta and the second version of beta 3 that problem is gone i can stay there for minutes and it won't heat up my device at all now i know i've said this probably a few times the storage bug seems to be fixed with this beta. Now previously, when you would go to settings, general, and right here on the iPhone storage, it will take like a lot of time to calculate this and show the storage of your iPhone. You can see how fast it does it now. It's really, really quick. In a couple of seconds, you will have all your apps and everything here. Now this is a problem that has been here since iOS 15 has been released. Sometimes with some updates, it seems to get better. Sometimes it comes back, but with this beta, it's actually really really good and it looks like apple has finally fixed this because it actually loads really really fast but another thing right here i know it's a beta and of course ios needs its space to operate but you can see right here system data is quite big actually with this beta is at around 21 gigs i usually have here around 11 or 12 gigs that are from system data on my iPhone. Another problem that seems to have been fixed with this beta is the ability to get out of the app library simply by swiping up. I haven't been able to do this previously. I had to tap somewhere to go out. Now I can just swipe here and I go back to the home screen. And now let's move on and talk a bit about the battery life and performance on iOS 16 public beta and of course the second version of beta 3. Now battery life seems to be good. I had this beta 
course here on my device for like a couple of days now it's not the greatest ever but of course it's getting better with each beta that's something you can expect and these huge updates with a lot of new features of course will require time to get to the point where they should be and have really good battery life but of course it's not the worst ever battery life is actually quite decent here given the fact that again it's a big update with a lot of new features you can see here i got on screen on six hours 25 minutes 52 minutes screen off and you can see right here that's at around like 76 or 77 percent of battery life that's really really great on a battery that its health is at 90 percent moving on to geekbench here we have the scores for the performance of the latest beta so right here we have beta 3 and right here we have the second version of beta 3 which is of course the same as the public beta so on the single core score 1590 1584 here on the single core score on the first version of beta 3 multi-core score beta 3 4079 beta 3 version 2 4076 so we got basically just a small difference there on the multi-core score and the single core score which basically is the same those are not numbers that actually make an impact on the performance there very little of course change there but again the performance is quite decent and it has been improving with each beta so what's next for ios 16 we have now beta 3 which has been released on a second version this week but i still expect apple to release a new version of ios 16 beta next week that of course should be beta 4 so we can expect that to happen a week from now next wednesday or maybe earlier on tuesday so you can see right here july 19th or 20, 20th these are the two dates that i expect apple to release the beta the fourth beta and the second public beta of ios 16. so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this leave a like in this one if you enjoyed it i'll see you guys on the next one